my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marion. Welcome to, I guess you want to call it, episode two of my weight loss journey. Today was supposed to be um, my consultation or first appointment with um, a doctor that specializes in um, bariatric surgery. I cannot talk. Um, so, you know, bariatric surgery consists of multiple things, not just um, gastric bypass, but you have lap band and you have sleeve. Sleeve has become the most common um, form of bariatric surgery or weight loss surgery. I'm not an expert on it or whatever. I am not the one to um, tell people to get it or to tell someone not to get it but i just felt like i wanted to you know weigh my options and i decided well why not explain why i want to consider um getting the sleeve done i have several acquaintances and co-workers who have had the surgery done as well as um close family members and stuff like that. And it wasn't an easy decision for them to make when it came down to um, having the surgery. But for the most part, we all um, are in the same boat when it comes to our um, health and the inability to lose weight like normal folks can lose weight, which affects multiple um, organs in our body. For women who have um, insulin resistant PCOS, um, that's one of the ones that I have, it makes it hard for you to um, lose weight. And then also it can either make you overproduce um, either hair, I don't have that problem. Like you'll grow a lot of hair or you'll have hair thinning and hair loss. I do have that problem. There, It does cause an imbalance with your estrogen and testosterone and androgen, um, you know, um, levels. So you tend to have to like take medication for that. And then when having PCOS, it affects your uh, blood sugar. So more than likely when you um, have PCOS, your A1C levels are considered pre-diabetic and that in itself will affect your pancreas. If you have PCOS, a lot of people have issues with becoming pregnant, having a baby. The doctors recommend certain type of lifestyle changes and stuff. I personally have to sit back and think, well, okay, can I maintain this? Can I change this uh, permanently? And some of the things I can and some of the things I have to be realistic about and just you know, um, think to myself like Marion, you know, you're not young and of course I'm not having any more kids. So that's not the issue. My issue for me is weight, health, being comfortable within my own skin and also just, um, being able to maintain my A1C levels. Do I want to be on pills for the rest of my life? No, I do not. Um, I'm a type of person that when I do work out, I, and I get into back into the routine of it. It's four to five days out of the week. So I have no problem with going across the street to my park, walking the trail, because you know I am trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle. But I feel like if I can get a boost in one of the areas, then why not? Especially if it's covered under my insurance and it will help the quality of my life. So that is why I am considering it. Um, but my appointment got rescheduled because the doctor is sick. So I was going to, you know, take you guys along with me, but that will be put on hold until I get another appointment. My goal is if everything goes well, and if I do qualify, um, my goal was to have it done at the end of the year or the beginning of the year, because my understanding is with this particular physician, surgeon, things progress a lot fast. 
So um, luckily I have people close to me that are telling me the pros and the cons. So if I figure, feel like that this is not something that I want to do, I can always back out of it because I'm not, it's not set in stone. It's something that I'm considering and I want to learn more about and um, do more research on. A lot of people will look at my body type um, because of my height and when I tell them how much I weigh and they'll be like, but you don't look like it. I know I don't look like it, but I feel like it. My clothes tell me I weigh that much. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know what I see in the mirror and I know what other people see, but it's just that I just want to feel normal, feel comfortable, feel healthy, and just be here for my kids and my grandkids. And whatever I can do to help that come into fruition, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. So hopefully my appointment will be rescheduled soon, sometime in September, which is perfectly fine with me. I'm Like I said, I'm not in a rush to like make a final decision. I would love to just sit down and you know, talk with him, especially because there are certain things um, in my medical history as far as family wise, not mine, but family medical history that, you know, needs to be discussed and all of that. Um, so I just wanted to sit down and just, you know, explain why I am considering this surgery. Um, do you know anyone who um, had the sleeve? Um, I know there's always, you know, pros and cons, um, side effects of that nature, but it's something that I feel like will be um, beneficial to me. But if you have any um, personal knowledge about this type of surgery, then leave a comment down below if you have any questions for me as far as like, um, if you wanna know more about PCOS, how it's um, diagnosed, um, what uh, are the other treatment plans or medications that you take in regards to PCOS? Because a lot of times, I I mean, knowing what PCOS is and the different symptoms and stuff, I can like talk to someone. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not gonna like diagnose them, but I would just like recommend that they go see an endocrinologist. The best thing to do is if you feel like your your body isn't right and you want to figure out what's going on, go see an endocrinologist that's my recommendation but again i just wanted to sit down and just you know briefly talk about why i am considering this surgery and why i am taking you guys along this journey not just you know um the surgery the potential surgery because it's not set in stone or approved yet um it's just a thought it's something that i want to consider but just my entire weight loss journey i'm just taking you guys along with me so um yeah that's about it i'm going to go ahead and close out this video but before i do don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always thank you for watching